look at that uh, that drive you guys had last week with uh, almost like a two minute drive, basically where where it's Derek, 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 sort of uh, unusual for that time of the game and 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 you know the success in in running the ball. In yeah, that all you know, we knew we were getting the ball after half too. So you go in there and try to double them up, and that was the intent. And uh, we ended up hitting the explosive, kept us on track, and we were able to get down there and, and, and score. So a lot of it was playing situationally, and the other part was how the game was going, how we felt we were running the football. Do you think that game against them last year helped you as far as this one goes, as far as preparation goes? Well, you look you look at it, and there's lessons to be learned anytime you play a, an opponent, but. Every year is different. Every game's different. You know, no, no different than the divisional. You play somebody early in the year, you know, Indy the first time, and you play them the second time. You learn lessons from it. But there's things that games, they're never the same. Uh, but you took a, you, what you take away from it is you, you understand what kind of game, what kind of defense you're facing, for sure. What kind of defense are you facing? They're facing a very aggressive, attacking style defense. They've, uh, they're 14 and 2 for a reason. They're good in a lot of defensive categories. We've got a work cut out for us, but we know they're, they're attacking and they're aggressive, and that's their intent. Ryan didn't have a big game statistically against the Patriots, but how did he do managing the game, and will you need bigger numbers from him this week? You know, you don't ever set out, and, and I, I never look at it this way, where you say, ultimately, we're, we're going to play the way in, on all three phases, how we're going to win this as a team. And then you adapt to how the game's going, certain things they're doing, how we're playing. And then at the end of the game, you know, Ryan stepped in there and made some unbelievable throws. The first one to Ferkser, uh, staring down right at pressure, and Anthony ran a great route, and he hit that one. And then the two third downs late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we you know, hit Dion on a, on a conversion, and then obviously the other big one to Ferk. And so he, you know, he did what we asked him to do. Uh, you know, every game, every drive, as a play caller, you're always looking, hey, I could have done this better. And the same thing we asked the players to do. You learn from it, try to improve, and that's where we're at right now. What are some of the challenges that a team like that with three really good corners, and you know, Smith, Peters, yeah. uh, Humphrey, they put a lot of pressure, but they have man defense behind that. What are some of the challenges? A lot of it is going to always start with <clears throat> protection first, and then we got to we got to win versus man and get open. And that's that's usually week to week. Most third downs, you know, these guys happen to be a little more aggressive than others. But everybody's got pretty good blitz packages on third downs, and so we got to be great with our routes. We got to be great with protection and, and decision making and the win. How big a game for your backs in in, in blitz pickup? Well, I'm not, I don't want to get in the scheme here, but every time we're going to ask to, to, to protect, and that's that's everybody we ask to protect, it, it, this, there's there's challenges to it. And uh, there's a lot of smart coordinators out there. These guys do a really good job on third down. So without getting into details of how we're going to schematically do things, it's, it's a big game for all of us. How's Deion been doing in blitz pickup? deon has been pretty solid all year. I think they're in a good rhythm. I think we're playing very confident as a group. And we just like to continue to improve. And we know we got different challenges this week than the one we had last week. So those guys have been playing well together and they've been playing with confidence. How did your receivers maybe handle a game where they weren't primary targets and their primary role was going to be to block? And the, the, we, those guys have handled the, those roles all year well. And that's the, that, that's the character and the, and the culture that we've been preaching. And, and Certainly, everybody wants to go out there and have big statistics, but ultimately, you got you got the right guys that want to go out there and win as a team. No different than you get down in the game and you're going to have to pick the ball up a lot. You know, those are the games when you're in a lot of two-minute or passing situations. You're going to have heavy reception numbers. Uh, Derek makes some strides this year in terms of like vision, footwork, things like that. I mean, even though he had a great finish to last year, has he done better in those two categories this year? Even do you think? he's done it. He's done a really nice job all year, and he, he continues to work and improve. And you know, we're feel good about where we've been gelling as a run game, and that's that's all eleven and the, the decisions we put on the quarterback and everything that goes with it. And then you say all eleven, the quarterback is part of it too in the run game, and the receivers, the tight ends, the, the backs. It's just it's familiarity and we're, you know playing together, and, and the confidence that's has grown. But he's done a nice job. He does. Yeah, I was gonna, maybe specifically just vision. Anything there that you see that's that's better or, or that he's doing differently maybe is, is just improved with overall reps you get used to it and you're, you're used to what we're asking him to do with his landmarks and it's all it's all it's all come together for me he's done a really nice job with that coach we, uh, you mentioned Burke, but you know, we've asked you a lot of questions about how well john who has played since delaney went down mm -hmm. but what about guys like Ferk and michael pruitt <coughs> and your tight ends as a whole kind of picking up the slack since 82 went down how, how well have they done 
Well, they've done a, a really nice job. Those guys are kind of the unsung heroes. You know, you, you, the conventional wisdom is you run the ball well, it's just the old line. Uh, we, you know, we put a lot on those tight ends. And, and Michael Pruitt's a guy that's done a nice job with everything we put on him. You go back and look at that Houston run that Derek in at the end of the game with, and it was a heck of an effort by, by Pru there. And he's, he's done it. We, he plays multiple roles for us. All those guys do. We put stress on our tight ends. It's how we operate. And those guys kind of been un, unsung heroes all year. Biggest change in, in Nate's game <coughs> early in this year to, to where he is now. It, it, again, it comes with experience. There's a lot of things you know. We learn. Reps go up. Different looks he sees. Getting more comfortable. Getting more comfortable in there with Ben and Jack, and playing together a lot. So it's just confidence and experience. Yeah, I was gonna say confidence, but looks looks oh, just on film looks to be far. Yeah, no, true. he's done. He's he's been you know him and AJ both as a rookie season. You know they go through. Things you got to learn and go through. You, you you coach them, and but the experience definitely helps. Just say if, if anything that I think the, uh, four top running teams in the league still alive and play. I think five of the top six. Does that fly a little bit in the face of the perception of the you know, pass first, uh, pass happy league? Yeah. yeah, I mean you go year to year, and a lot of it becomes matchups with your teams and the defenses you're facing, and it's a credit to to those other teams too. And I know some some years is different, but. We like where we're at with our run game and the style we play, and it's, it's the way we're built. But we certainly feel good about it. We got to pick the ball up too. But it, it is, you know, those are trends. They kind of go, they come and go. And some people, it's like everything else in life. Everybody's overreacts, reacts to the newest trend, and the truth probably somewhere in the middle. How much what's Derek like personality-wise on game <coughs> days when he maybe knows he's going to get a, a good deal of the work? And, and is he a guy you even have to, to motivate yourself? Yeah, I, I, you get into that. D- Derek's been a been a pro. He he's he does a nice job of he's focused every week and it's really done a nice job this year. And game in, game out, he hasn't really changed who he's been. And and certainly, like most guys, are you know you're if you're in a rhythm shooting the ball in basketball, usually you're you're feeling it. But it's not like he he rides the emotional roller coaster of highs and lows. He's done a nice job being pretty consistent most of the year. The call for rain and maybe you know another sloppy type field conditions like last week, does that affect the way you call a game at all? It, it, it can, and it just depends, again, how the game's going, where you are situationally, um, how how bad is it. I mean, that all factors into it. Uh, you just got to play with the elements and, and, and know that both teams are dealing with the same thing. So it, it can it can definitely alter it. It's just, it. And a lot of it also depends on the situation, where you are, what the score is, how you're playing. Some time at this point since you've had Adam available to you, but what's been the biggest adjustment without him for the receivers? Well, you know, we we got a faith in a lot of guys, and we got guys that we've definitely spread the ball around most of the year. And we, he's got a different skill set than than Corey or Tajay or uh, AJ, but and those guys have done a good job, and we we move guys around. So it's you know I can't worry about the guys that aren't in there, and and so. You got to give Tajay credit. He, he's he's played a big role, and all those guys have. Furk obviously stepped up last week on third down, so we just try to find you know, who's available, what what what's in those best interests of the team, and play into our strengths.